Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Shantae G. And I'm back again with another video. <laughs> Y'all, I'm back again with another video. It's Wind Down Wednesday once again. Like, dang, Wednesday be coming by so quickly. Like, and y'all, I'm looking a little dusty, a little crusty, because I just got out the shower, whatever. But it is what it is. So, on today's Wind Down Wednesday, I got my food as per usual. I made some yellow rice, some sweet peas and carrots, and some barbecue chicken. And I got me a little Hawaiian roll on the side or whatever. Um, got me a little cup of ice. And today's beverage, I don't have any more wine. so, And I wasn't going to buy no more because I need to use what I have. So today I'm going to be using some jack daniels honey i got this for christmas so that's why the christmas paper still on it i didn't want to take it off because then it's gonna take the label off and then yeah but yeah this is what we're having so i'm gonna go ahead and open it and i'll be back That's about all I'm going to have because y'all know with the wine, I can go all in. But with the straight back, <laughs> no ma'am. I got to like, my body got to get used to it first. Yeah. Let me take a little bite real quick. Y'all, I don't really got nothing major to be talking about today. Really, I got a whole list of stuff I could talk about, but I don't really feel like getting deep, deep into it today. Mm. This is really good. This is really good, y'all. Like, so, the way I made this barbecue chicken was All right, let me start being fat. The way I made this barbecue chicken was I like let it soak in vinegar for like two days straight, honestly, because I really just didn't feel like cooking it at the moment. So it literally soaked in vinegar for two days. I rinsed it off. Then I seasoned it with a whole bunch of seasonings. And I also put peppers and onions on it. And I let that like marinate for honestly maybe five six hours honestly because y'all cooking is like a whole chore so don't come for me but yeah my food be seasoned though so <laughs> so it seasoned in that for like five six hours then i air fried it so i air fried it on 390 for about 20 minutes and then after air frying it i put barbecue sauce all over it like brushed it across and then I put it in the oven to bake I put it on 350 for about 20 minutes 20 30 minutes and yeah so that's it let me try it hmm that's interesting 
Like, I definitely taste the honey. But I also could tell that it's lit, if that makes sense. But it's pretty decent. I got it as a gift, if I didn't say it before. So I've never tried it. But it's pretty decent. Mmm. Let's talk about how the grocery store is so expensive. Like, what? So I went into Walmart today and I picked up a few groceries. I picked up some ground beef, some Hawaiian bread, some cheese what else onion pepper and a bag of ice i think my soda was like 20 something dollars but the gag is that ground beef was expensive like why is the ground beef so expensive i'm gonna have to buy me a cow at this point because what the heck like that's ridiculous how much that ground beef costs like i seen some for like how much was that ground? Some was like seventeen dollars a pack. Some of it was ten dollars a pack. I luckily enough found a pack that was seven dollars. But jeez, like what in the world is going on? When y'all cook y'all meat, do y'all boil? You? Like when you fry your chicken, do you boil your chicken first before you fry it, or you just fry it? Right. I want to know. I'm, one of my friends said, like, in her, co in her culture, they boil the chicken before they fry the chicken. Just to make sure that the chicken is cooked. Y'all let me know. Also, let me know how y'all season y'all food. Like, as far as, like, your meats and stuff, how do you season it? And what do you season it with? Also, what do you clean it with? I usually just clean mine with um, vinegar. Or if I have lime and lemon, I'll use lime and lemon. But it's usually vinegar. The thing with the vinegar, though, is the vinegar starts to seep through the meat. So if you don't like that vinegar taste, I wouldn't suggest you to let your meat marinate in vinegar for hours like i wouldn't suggest that i suggest you just rinse it in vinegar scrub it or wipe it down and keep it moving because but i like that vinegar um i like the whole vinegar flavor like especially in my greens i like my greens to have vinegar in it like it just tastes good I also can do the um the greens with the sugar in it. It's okay. But I definitely like the vinegar taste. I originally bought these sweet peas and carrots. Because I was going to try to make um a chicken pot pie or a shepherd's pie whatever you want to call it but the vegetables that I really mess with is corn broccoli collard greens cabbage salad sweet potatoes regular potatoes and that's about it dumb other vegetables <laughs> you can have it And them other vegetables y'all can have because you know I know my mom likes um what you call the little green things okra she likes okra but it just look weird to me I remember in the summer like ma'am came home with a whole lot of okra and I'm just like uh you know you're the only one who eat that right 
Yeah. I'm just chit chatting while y'all watch me eat. That's what's crazy. Oh, another question. Did your mom or your parent or your guardian, whoever used to cook in the house, did they make a separate meal for you if they cooked something that you didn't like? Like, say, for instance, I don't eat fish. Like, for real, I don't eat fish. Like, let me not say I don't eat fish. I just don't prefer to eat fish. Like, you will catch me eating fish, like, once a year. Like, I just don't eat fish. Like, yeah, no. But I'm not totally against it. So, for me... I don't like fish so in my household my mom either she wouldn't cook it at all or she will cook just a little bit for the people who ate fish and then she'll cook something else did y'all people do that for y'all or y'all just had to eat what they cooked like <laughs> if I cook macaroni and cheese from out the box and baked beans that day that's just what you got to eat like how did it work in your household were you forced to eat stuff you didn't like because your mom wasn't cooking nothing else i feel like it's kind of a waste of money to cook something nobody likes so you might as well just but everybody grow different i know some people say they just had to eat whatever was cooked. The baby. I would probably been starving because what? Mm -mm. Absolutely not. Like, <clears throat> I can eat seafood, but I just... Like, you know how some people just... Like, oh, seafood is the best. I can eat seafood every day. Like, oh, seafood. Oh, I'm about to give me some crab legs. Oh, oh, oh. No, I'm not like that. Mm -mm, not at all. All right, it's cool and all. But no. I know in the summer. My mom had bought crab legs. And I was like, oh, I'm going to try them. Like, this will be my first time trying crab legs. Let me see how it tastes. Like, let me see what the hype is about. I ate a little bit of it. I'm like, okay, this is cool. And then the claw cut my thumb. Baby, when I tell you I was so done, I was like, see, I don't even eat this. And I'm over here getting injured. Like okay like <laughs> okay but yeah i don't eat seafood like that like in my freezer right now the only seafood i have is shrimp oh my gosh you know it'd be a good video for me to do seafood boil you without seafood or seafood boil you with just shrimp in it Scrimp sausage, egg, potatoes, corn. I should do that. I don't really be cooking like that for real though. Like, if we being completely honest, and I mean completely honest, I probably only cook once or twice a week. Like, I cook this barbecue chicken, honestly, probably not going to cook the rest of the week. In all honesty, because when I go to work, I would, like, stop to Chick-fil-A or Wendy's or something on the way to work, and I'll grab me something real quick. But... Cooking every day? Nope. Not a um I might cook tomorrow because I do want to make something that I um something that I've been wanting to try. 
So I might go ahead and make that and record that, but yeah, I don't know. It's not real quick and simple too, so it is what it is. But yeah, y'all, that's all for this video. Like, I really just been chit-chatting about nothing. <clears throat> but yeah, you guys. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And catch me in the next video. Next video. Next video.